the back with double sided sticky tapes. Always handy stuff. I don't know why. This stuff, this one's really sticky. There we go. About that right there. Yes, sir. -y. Now, I think to fix that issue with the, um, hmm, isn't there just one single little extension here? Oh, all wise. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. I figured I'd have. There it is. There it's fine. It's an extension. Just a short one. Yes, sorry. So now I can plug this into my anerons. Well, maybe not. Oh yeah, that'll be just fine. Plug that into my anerons. Glue my receiver in. Then, it'll be easier, you might say. Oh no, where am I going to put all the wires? Huh? I don't really want to put the wires. They aren't cooperating. They aren't cooperating. And so, a little wire management here. Come on, wires. Allow yourselves to be managed. Okay. Now, let's serve those own wires. Go down into there. Uh -huh. The receiver is not right down to the bottom. My goodness, it won't fit down there. It will fit sideways down here. Ha ha. There we go. And Stand the antenna up. Remember, stand the one up on my receiver now. So there, that'll be the connection for my ailerons. These wires are out of those servos ways. Okay, that looks good. The battery plugs in here. My wing. Oh, let's attach. Ailerons plug into there. And this plugs into my motors. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, with this stuff put in here nicely, nicely, did I say nicely enough? They aren't going in. You guys heard me, but the wires didn't. Okay, so. Oh. Oh. I see a small issue. Because when I glued this top piece on, when I glued that on, it. Uh oh. I gotta look for that. I lost a screw. I'll be right back. Ah, I found it. Maybe I, I did. But the glue is there. Holy moly. It's gonna be a lot of work to screw down. So, I'll start screwing. There we go. Ah, well, it doesn't want to go in there. I see why, maybe, maybe it's not quite square. Mm. 
That screwdriver is horrible for this screw. I would say that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's tightening up. Maybe just a drop of glue in the threads from going through. But whoa. Really tilt heavy, eh? Well, I plan to put a bigger battery than the one I have here. Okay? But I'm hoping that this one will do. I just need a little piece of tape here. Just a little piece of tape. I know we could build something else. For now, a piece of tape will do. So I want to make sure that it sits on its wheels. It does. Very cool. Okay, let's see it come to life. We better have a spotlight. Whoa. Okay. Ready to come to life. Transmitter on. I remember, you guys, I'm using a um, AS300. Whoa. Oh, everybody. Okay. Let's see, we got. Trim them just a bit. My ailerons are reversed. <laughs> okay. So we gotta fix that. Now how about my rudder is the right way. And my elevator is reversed. Motors are the right way. Let's see what that sounds like. Whoa, nice and quiet. But lots of pull for this light model. Okay, so there we are. The GWS BN2 is finished. Yay! Wow. Okay, so I'm going to fly it with this 1,000 milliamp 3-cell battery, okay? So let's do some technical stuff. Turn the power on. You know, trust me, I'm going to do this in ounces. So I'm going to hook this by the front guy with his front tire, okay? And we've got the battery in it, believe it or not, in total, it's 14 ounces, 14 ounces ready to fly. Okay, that's the battery in it and everything, you see, if you can read that, it says 14, 14 ounces, so that's pretty light, it's under a pound. Seems kind of heavy, but okay. Now, what do we do to make it pretty? You know, I was going to paint it, but to keep it, you know, to the arf it is, I'm going to use the stickers, you guys. We're going to put the stickers on, and we're going to make it look like it was intended to.